it's Brian here. It's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, today's video is going to be about beekeeping. I know there's there's probably 10,000 videos on YouTube about beekeeping, but this is my video about assembling a hive body. Uh, I am putting together a deep box. Um, I ordered this from Man Lake. Uh, this year I decided I wanted to get into beekeeping, so I'm going to shoot some beekeeping videos. Uh, I'm putting together two hives, um, and I did order most of my supplies from Man Lake. I ordered some of it from Amazon, and I think one or two things from eBay as well. Um, at any rate, so what we're doing today is putting the box together. And I want to talk a little bit about this. I have painted boxes that were put together and boxes that are unassembled, and it's easier to paint it all flat. So I start off with a layer of PVA primer. This soaks into the wood and blocks up all the pores. And then I am coming back with some Bare Premium Plus. Now this is interior paint, but I got it from Home Depot. It's just some kind of white, and it was oops paint. So it was $9 a gallon. The price is right. If I had to repaint it next year, I'll repaint it next year. But this is good paint. I don't really care if it chalks. I don't think the bees will care if it chalks. So anyway, two coats of that. That gets us to a nice spot where we can start to put this together and then we're gonna touch it up. So what we didn't paint were the ends. And there's a little bit of flash in here that we'll have to deal with, but that's okay. I've also got a hammer to encourage the pieces together gently if I need to. And then I'm using some number eight two inch screws. These are GRK brand screws. Now these have uh, a wide head which helps with the hold. I didn't like the nails that Man Lake sent. I thought they were chintzy um, and I want something a little stronger. Um, the, I'm probably going to run out of nails by the way or screws by the way because I don't I don't really have enough of these. Um, the other thing is these use a T15 bit which is a little bit smaller. Um, normally SPAC screws they use a T25. So make sure you pick up a T15 bit. Um, and, uh, and then when it comes to painting, I'm using some three mil gloves and a two inch chip brush. Gloves and brush come from Harbor Freight. Um, I buy these brushes by the case. Yeah, it leaves a hair here and there. Again, who cares? This is utility painting. to start with just one side and test fit it. Yep, looks good. So I'm literally just going to, uh, it looks like I might have a clogged tip here. So first we're going to deal with clogged tip. So it's unclogged. So we're just gonna slather some glue in here. easier ways to do this. I just honestly haven't figured out what they are. Alright, 
So there's the first side. Make sure I have it seated in there nicely. And then I'm only going to start these. I'll show you why in a minute. I still want this to be just a hair flexible because I have to get this last side in. So I want to get a little bit more in these edges here. So I'm going to be a little unconventional. I'm going to come in from the sides because this will pull it in and it's not seating quite as nicely as I'd like. And I want a nice tight box. So I'll let you guys see what I'm doing here. And this is one of the reasons I'm using screws. They're just better for getting the joints to seat. And I do recommend that you use a good quality screw like these GRK or SPAC screws. All right. Now it is important that you screw both sides.
All right. So at this point, I've only got like five screws left, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Um, but I can't fill all the holes because I just don't have enough screws. And that's fine, I'll, I'll get to this eventually. So at this point, I'm still short two screws over here. Um, not much I can do about that. All right, so I've got some SPAS number eight screws and um, these will work. I honestly don't know why I bought them, but again, they'll work. And SPACs are my absolute number number one brand. They're just great screws. They use a quality metal. They don't torque out or strip. I do like the other screws better, but again, these will work. What's going on over here? I know there's not a screw in here. All right. friends. So one of the things you saw me using was a um, auto feed paper towel dispenser and I, I gotta tell you if you don't have one of those for your shop you really really should get one. They are absolutely wonderful for making sure that there is always paper towel ready to grab and you really don't go through that many paper towels. That was uh, one of my other interesting discoveries with them. All right so Next, I'm just going to touch up this end grain that is not painted. And no, I'm not going to prime it first. This is a paint and primer combo, so it will be just fine. I'm not trying for a wonderful paint job. I'm just trying to get paint on here to protect the equipment and to keep the screws from rusting. And I 
again, I'm just trying to get, you know, paint on all the parts of the screws and screw heads and on this exposed end grain. It will take two, maybe three coats. All right, and I want to show you all something. So if you look here, you can see where it, the end grain has already started to soak up this paint. And that's why we paint them. Now, this particular table I don't really care about, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just set it like this and paint it because I want to get I want to get this done. I've been painting these frames for a while. I'll put another coat on it tomorrow and then this this box will be done. Um, I'm picking up my bees next week. I'm getting Saskatraz bees because they seem interesting and uh, they're different. If I don't like them I'll requeen them. And, uh, you know, if you're one of those folks who produces the videos that I've been watching on beekeeping, thank you very much. I've learned pretty much everything I, I uh, can from either reading a book or watching videos because unfortunately all the bee classes have been canceled this year. Um, I don't think there's that much to it. I'm sure after I get stung a few times I will think differently, but for now it looks pretty simple. Happy bees, get some honey later, that's all there is to it. So at that point, I'm done. That goes in there. One other trick if you don't know about it, when you go to reseal your lid, put a paper towel over it and take a rubber mallet, not a metal hammer, because a metal hammer will mess up the can. All right. So what that paper towel does is it catches any any paint that might squirt up from that joint so it doesn't go all over the place. Ball it up. If you want to recycle it, you can. It's not really clean recyclable. And then you take your gloves off like that. The whole thing goes in the trash. Done. What we got to do at this point is wait for the uh, paint to dry. I, I keep wanting to call it ink for some reason. We're going to wait for the paint to dry and then we're going to hit it again. So, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this interesting. If you're a new beekeeper, uh, please feel free to comment. Um, if you are an experienced beekeeper, maybe I taught you something. Uh, you know, I hope I can contribute back to the hobby. I've learned so much from others. And again, have a great day.